everybody. Good morning. This is Blake Rivers here with Surefire Local. I want to start by saying thanks to everyone for you know, taking some time out of your day to join us. So if you're not familiar with Surefire Local, we're a technology-enabled services company, and you know, today our very own Bob Sheehan is going to be walking you through some of the really amazing technology that helps you increase the results from your investments in digital services like PPC, organic search, and reputation management. And with Surefire, we're going to show you how you can manage your entire online presence using the power of one platform. So as we go forward, Bob and I will be here to answer your questions throughout the presentation, and we'll also take some time at the end to do some Q&A. But please don't hesitate to ask questions as they come up, as they relate to Surefire Local, our services and technology, you know, or if you just have any questions about your online presence and digital marketing in general, we'd be happy to answer those too. You can communicate these questions with us you know, by using the question box in your webinar control panel on the right-hand side of your screen. And so I want to make sure everyone, you know, go ahead and see if you can't locate that right now. And once you've found it, please also take a moment to check out some of the guides that we have in there. You know, we have one for SEO. Uh, we have another one that's about five profit levers that we don't see home improvement companies really pulling enough, and we want to make sure you're aware of those. And there's also another guide in there as it relates to directory listings and really just getting your business on the map. Uh, so please definitely take advantage of those. Those are free to you. And before we begin, if everyone could please take a moment just to silence all the devices and, and make sure we pay attention because we do have a special prize today for the taking. At the end of the webinar, I'll be asking everyone a question about the Surefire Local Marketing Cloud. And the first person to answer the question correctly will win a free Google Home Mini and their first month of Surefire Local services absolutely free on us. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce Bob. Bob is our Senior Vice President of Customer Advocacy, and he will be walking you through what everyone is here to see, the Surefire Local Marketing Cloud. So Bob, take it away. Well, thank you, Blake, and, and good morning, everybody. Thank you for uh, coming to the webinar. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your, your day to, to do this. And uh, we've got a, a lot of things to talk about today. I, I just want to kind of give a little bit of an overview of, of what's going on here. Um, the, the idea behind the, the marketing cloud is, is to have a place where you manage everything, right? You, you've got your you're managing your website in there, your, your, your visibility, your, your online visibility, your directory listings, your reviews, um, leads are in there, right? Social media, and, and to the extent that you're doing pay-per-click, that would also be in there. And I'm going to show you how all of these things work together, and and you know kind of help you to to run your whole uh, digital marketing program, right? And and so what 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 happened with this and the way this came about was that that we you know in the early in the early stages of the business, we we had you know people working with clients, right? We had we had lots of um, we called them coaches at the time. Today we call them digital marketing strategists, but uh, they were basically working with clients and, and helping clients to run uh, these programs. When they when they were doing that, they needed a way to to leverage all of this activity to be able to look at, you know, on a particular client, for instance, the intersection between what happens in analytics and the data that I get from analytics and the social media that I'm posting, or you know, when I when I post blogs at a certain rate, what happens to that, right? How does that impact? Um, search activity or results or you know do I get a lift in my online visibility when I post more reviews and so that was that was how we built this why we built this because we needed a way to look at all of that stuff in a structured way we needed all of this data that we had coming from all of these places to be in a in a structured place where we could look at everything together and draw some conclusions from it and, and shortly after we, we began building this for ourselves, it became, you know, the idea became, we want to show this to customers too. We want to let clients in this thing so that they can, can kind of work with us and understand this stuff better because we know that clients who, who participate, um, you know, their outcomes are better, right? They do better and they know, they know more about what's going on and, and we think that's a good thing. Um, so we we opened it up to the clients a few years ago, and and the clients have been actually helping us to work on this. Right? They 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 give us ideas and tell us that you know look if this was a little different, I might use it a little bit more. 
or if I had this, this would be valuable to me. And so that's helped us along the path of developing this to the point where, you know, you see it today and we think we've got something that's pretty useful. And what we're doing now is continuing along that development path to continue to make it more useful. So that's kind of the background of what you see here. And that, that's, you know, how we got here. And the purpose of today's call is to, you know, give you a tour of this thing and to show you what, what we've built and, and why and, and show you how we think it can help you to run your, your digital marketing program. Um, and in some ways to, to see the impact of some of the other things that you're doing that are, that are not digital and kind of have all that in one place so that you can, you can understand it. So uh, we're, I'm showing a, a particular client record here. Uh, this is a, um, a, a company that's in, that does windows and siding and roofing and you know, lots of different things. And um, we start with the dashboard. And, and what we did here is we built this dashboard around the idea that if I'm a business owner, there's certain things that I want to be able to see. I want to I want to kind of look at the big picture. I want to see in general, you know, what does my lead situation look like? Right. Am I am I getting a lot of leads and is that enough? Right. And so we put that stuff right at the top leads and and kind of the, the, the traffic metrics around um, what's going on, um, you know, on the site. Right. And I can look at those either as straight numbers or if I want, I can go up here and compare. Right. So I can look at this in a year over year basis. Or if I want to look at any date range against any other date range, I can do that. I can just change the dates in here. Um, I can also look at this three month trend. Right. So I can see what's happening with organic search over the last three months. And you can see how. And we're in a particular place right now in the cycle of the year where, you know, there's more search activity and you can see that activity rising. And the reason for that is the seasonality, right? We're getting into spring and people are looking more at their, at their outsides of their house and, you know, deciding to, to look for more uh, products. So we see that happening and we can kind of make some conclusions here and we can see generally how we're doing and, and you get that kind of three month look that we think, um, you know, customers tell us that they want. Um, we have a word cloud and we use a couple of these in the, in, in our cloud, right? In, in the platform, we use a couple of these word clouds. One of them is the one that you see here, which, which aggregates the search terms that people are using to find you, right? So it, it, you can see there's a lot of product words in here. These are the words that, that people are using. So when we're thinking about how do we target a website and how do we, how do we, uh, you know, target a pay-per-click program, for instance, or, you know, what keywords do I really care about? And are the keywords that are bringing those customers to my website, are they words that represent buyers to me, right? And that's, that's the real purpose of this, is I want to make sure that I've got this thing dialed in to where the people who come to it are actually potential customers. And you can see in this case, there's a lot of different indications in these words that would tell us that these words are, you know, dialed in properly. Um, there's visibility, right? And you've got you've got visibility comparing the customer versus the competitor, right? And we've got the ability to put up to 10, 10 customers in here. I'm mean, sorry, 10 competitors in here, and really make that comparison. So we can, you know, customers ask me all the time, how, how am I doing against my major competitor, right? We want to know that. And it, you know, I know when you when you go on and search and you look and and you see a competitor in a place where, you know, maybe you're there or maybe, you you know, they're a little bit ahead of you on a certain word or there's always that question, right? How am I really doing? And, and that's what visibility does for us is it aggregates a lot of different keywords and a lot of different ranking positions and kind of gives us an index to be able to compare us versus, you know, any competitor that we've got. Um, you know, up to 10 of them. So we really can understand where do I fit in the marketplace? You know, am I succeeding? Am I getting to where I need to be? And if I'm not, then, you know, there's lots of ways in here to figure out what the strategy should be to move forward. Um, many of you have probably heard of, of um, how important reputation is. If you're, if you're following the, the press that's going on out there with Google and uh, some of the other um, online companies, right? everybody's talking about reputation. Um, it's a it's a huge deal. Um, reputation is is the the reviews that you get. It's definitely a part of the algorithm, right? It's definitely a part of the way that you get ranked. 
more reviews, better reviews have an, have an impact on how visible you are. And so we track that, right? We, we not only provide that directory listing service in the platform, but we, um, we track it here and, and follow it through. Somebody's out there banging around. If you guys could, could mute, that would be great. And then um, there's, a, there's another word cloud, and I talked about originally we have two of them, and, and this is the word cloud that comes from the reviews. So how are people talking about me, right? You can see there's, there's certainly great things in here, right? Recommend and professional and, you know, lots of uh, reasons to believe that things are, are succeeding in terms of our customer interactions. And um, uh, that's important, right? We find that, that, that folks, when they look at these word clouds, they can, they can definitely see areas of opportunity that they say, well, you know, I don't really want my customers using that kind of a word when they talk about how they interact with me. And that can lead us into things like, you know, how, what's my sales process look like? Or how am I doing answering the telephone? Or, you know, am I responding to people in the right amount of time? Um, so we've seen lots of different uh, opportunities come out of word clouds like this where, um, you know, we get that indication from customers as to how they feel about, you know, the things that we're doing from, from them or for them. Um, so, it, you know, if I'm, a, if I'm a business owner, then, then you know, this gives me that kind of top line view of how are things going. And, and our, our vision of this is that, you know, a business owner would want to check in on this stuff regularly and just kind of see how things are going. But in most cases, there's, a, there's somebody inside the business and, and in many cases, multiple people inside the business who have areas of this that they're responsible for and that we, uh, op, you know, we allow that opportunity to drill down into, into different areas over here on the left. So it, it, obviously when you talk to people in service businesses like you folks, um, leads are a very big deal, right? Everybody's worried about leads. Everybody's thinking about it every day, all day. Um, so we put leads right at the top and, and we, we put a lot of focus on leads the program that we put together is designed to generate leads and, you know, to, to generate more leads over time. And, and you can see similar to what, what happened on the dashboard where you see that growth month to month, you can see the lead volume improving here month to month, right? As we get into January, February, April, um, you know, February, March, April, right? And lead, we, we track phone calls, we track form submissions, uh, we track all of that together. Um, and understand, it gives us an ability to understand, um, you know, are we getting enough leads? And is the, frankly, is the expenditure right? Are we, are we getting a return for the dollar? And then when we, look, when we look down here, we can actually get into things like, you know, listening to those phone calls, right? How's my phone call, how's my phone being answered, right? When I'm not there and listening to it, is, do I like the answer, right? In, in a lot of cases, we find that when people start tracking their phone calls, they don't like the answer. Um, so this gives us that ability to, you know, work with people on on training, right? How, how does how, what's the right way to answer a telephone? How quickly are we doing it, right? How are we getting to a lead? Are we converting the right amount of phone calls into leads? All of those all of those things can be uh, answered when you measure them like this, and you and you get an idea of really over time how is this stuff uh, generating forms and and phone calls for us. So you can see the, the trending, right? You get that three month view and, and you can really break it down. Uh, we have some clients that have 15 or 20 different forms on, on sites that they track things independently and all of that can be done through here, right? So we can really look at things in a, um, you know, in a granular way and, and understand what's going on. Um, we have a, a mobile app um, and, and the mobile app is designed to receive leads. So, and then we bring leads into the lead manager on the website, right? So we get the kind of the time and date of the lead. We get the phone number of the person who called, the email, right? And then we can, we can look at that. And this, is, this comes in on the, on the phone as well. And we can understand, you know, what's the status of that lead, right? What happened with it? And then in some cases, we have drip campaigns that run behind these leads. So we send them a series of emails after they've responded to improve the response rates. And when you're on your phone uh, calling this customer back, you can actually know if they've gotten any other communications from us. Um, so that, that, that'll that help you with context when you're talking to them uh, to understand you know, what else they've seen or where, where else they are in the, in the buying process. 
Um, so the mobile app has been very popular. Um, we we did it uh, for a couple of reasons, right? We we know that that many of our customers are actually out seeing customers all day long, right? They don't always uh, sit in an office and, and answer the telephone. So we wanted to provide that tool that allows us to get that phone answered quickly. Um, we want to make sure that as many of the phone calls that, that come in get set as leads, and we know that the you know the quicker you answer that phone call, the more likely you are to um, you know turn that into an actual appointment. Um, so this this helps us to get that done. And you know, folks tell us that they that customers are much easier to reach when they when it's you know one or two minutes rather than one or two hours. And we see that the conversion rates on those phone calls is much much better when you you know handle them like this. And we can put anybody on this. If you've got two or three people in your company, we can we can have them all uh, receive the leads, right? The phone room can receive them as well as the owner, and you know just to kind of see what's going on and really be in touch with how all this is working. So um, that's that's something that uh, we think has really, really helped the, the clients. Um, obviously, when you're talking about online marketing and digital advertising and things, it, traffic is really important. Um, we work with a lot of uh, marketing directors, marketing coordinators, folks who kind of you know live in the numbers and really want to see how things are working. And so we've got we've got the traffic statistics here that ultimately come from some of them come from Google Analytics, some of them come from Webmaster Tools, lots of different data sources in here that bring in the traffic and help us to understand how things are working. And we can look at traffic on an individual basis. I don't always have to look at everything. So if I just want to isolate, I can do that, and I can see you know how things are working in relation to each other, and then I can break it out. So if I want to understand, you know, what's happening with organic search and is that different from, for instance, uh, what might be happening on the referral side or am I getting enough, um, you know, traffic and leads from the paid campaigns or is there an upside to that? Am I spending enough money, right? Um, and then we look at things like search, right? When we look at queries, impressions, and clicks, this is Webmaster Tools data. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm zooming in and I don't mean to be. Um, this data, oh, what is going on here? Um, sorry about that, little operator error. Um, so th this data comes in from Webmaster Tools and gives us an idea, really on a search basis, isolated from anything that might be happening naturally. This is only organic and, and tells us how that trend is going, right? How, how often is the website being shown in search? And, and am I growing that number? We, uh, when we originally started this, we, we actually did something that was different than, than how Google does it. Google will only show 90 days worth of data. And when we built this cloud, our idea was to structure this data and to maintain it and, and you know, look at it over time. And we started warehousing this, this Webmaster Tools data. So we can now look at search impressions for you know, a couple of years for the folks that have been with us that long. And, and so we get that year over year comparison that really helps in a seasonal business like this really helps us understand, you know, is the website being shown more? Are people searching more? How many words, right? How many words are, am I in the search engines for? And how does that impact my overall, you know, lift? So, um, you know, we think that that whole kind of webmaster tools approach is really important. And then we, you know, we talked about the search cloud and that, that, that continues. We put that in a couple of different places because when you're looking at, Traffic, you certainly want to see, you know, how important is, you know, other different words, and then we can look at, you know, what words are people using to get to the site? How, you know, how many? What's our average position on some of these words? How does that, how does that all um, work, right? How many words am I number one for, right? There are a lot of different places where, you know, folks are number one, and and, you know, we we end up with um, lots of questions, right? We get lots of questions from clients. Why why am I not number one for this? And, and the way we like to think about it is the, that you, you want to be number one for lots of things, right? You want to be on the first page for lots of things. And when you look at these terms in the aggregate and you watch how many terms you're ranking for and you watch how what your average ranking is, that all really helps to, um, to understand what visibility really is, that it's not about one keyword. It's about all the words together. 
Um, and we can look at pages, right? We can look at uh, different organic pages, right? We can look at, because sometimes what happens is folks set up uh, campaigns around individual pages and you can send, uh, for instance, television traffic to a certain landing page on your website. And you can understand, you know, how's the TV driving people to here? And how many leads am I getting from, from that effort? How many, you know, how is that impacting the average position of those pages? So, you know, we work with people on a lot of different uh, levels here to try to use the different parts of the website to handle different things and how to understand how all that's impacting, you know, the, the, the big picture. And then uh, certainly we want to be looking at organic. We, we care about bounce rate a lot. Bounce rate is about, you know, how many people stay on pages and look at other pages after they see the first page. And, you know, what's the engagement level on the website? We know that uh, engagement is an important metric when you're thinking about search. Um, Google wants to send people to websites where they they like what they see and they'll engage with lots of different pages. So as we see that bounce rate um, be in the right place, we're, we're, we're careful with making sure that we have that dialed in right so that we do get the right levels of engagement and that that helps the you know the search algorithm work the best and then it, this is a report that that really uh or you know section that really i i i like a lot this is how i look at things but i want to know for instance if i'm working with a customer in texas i'm not really worried about how much traffic they're getting from utah Right. I, I only care about Texas. So I wanted this broken out and we, and we we now break this out by state and by traffic type. So if I'm driving an SEO program in Texas, I want to look at organic traffic from Texas in isolation from everything else. And I want to know how many leads I'm getting from that organic traffic differently from maybe what I'm getting from paid or what I'm getting from direct traffic, which might be people typing in your name, you know, directly from a direct mail piece, right? I want to see what's happening from the organic. So we get that whole breakout here and really understand where the leads are coming from and, and why, why that matters. We have a lot of people who are multi-state um, companies, right? And they want to understand, how's my website driving traffic for me in, you know, Ohio versus, you know, what's coming from Indiana and what's coming from Michigan? And, you know, we can really look at that and understand the organic, and that helps to guide the effort that we make around the SEO program, helps us to dial in what we should be doing versus what we are doing. So so that's that's why we go into that kind of depth on traffic. And and when you when you work with one of our strategists, they talk about that kind of stuff all the time and make recommendations around, you know, what you should be doing uh, that might be different from what you are doing. Um, and then on, on visibility, we've got uh, the ability to look at different competitors and to compare um, websites one to another. I mean, you can, you can see, you know, how am I doing against competitor X and is my visibility rising generally? Um, these numbers tend to move slowly. They, uh, visibility is a, is a big picture thing that's around, you know, how many words am I ranking for and what's the average ranking? and so it doesn't tend to be a month to month or a week to week thing. It's more of a, you know, season to season thing. You see this kind of thing float up and it really, really helps us to understand, you know, how am I, how am I doing against my competitors? And then we have the ability to look at different search engines and compare one search engine to another. And in this case, compare what does Google look like locally versus what happens to when I don't care about local and I just look at Google nationally and there's always a difference. So we care about the local thing. We're, our our kind of focus here is local business marketing. And so we separate that Google traffic out and, and really try to understand, you know, because it, it's going to be different, right? If, I'm, if I search for your business in another state, that's a very different, you know, search view than if I'm standing, you know, 200 yards from your business. So we want to make sure that, that we're looking at things the right way. Um, social media obviously is important. Uh, everybody, um, you know, people care about it a great deal. Um, in this case, I, I don't see a lot of social traffic here. I think there's a disconnection uh, issue going on here. But um, we show the, the traffic on Facebook, the traffic on Google, the traffic on, on Twitter, right? And, and just kind of follow that through with the numbers of likes and how many people are following and, 
um, you know, that helps us to, to see the impact of the things that we do. When you, when you blog with us, when, you know, when your program w works, you, you know, you have a program that, that contains blogging, that stuff gets syndicated out across the social so we can see those, uh, the, the posts here and the, and the likes that come from those posts. Um, as we talked about earlier, directory listings is huge. Um, if, if you uh, don't have a comprehensive strategy around directory listings, you are not going to succeed in search. It's that simple. Um, directory listings have to be done right and, and they have to be um, correct. There's a thing called NAP consistency, name, address, and phone number consistency across all these directories. And what that is is your company record needs to be the same across, you know, certainly the 50 that Google cares about and then beyond that. Um, we, we work with 75 of them. So when um, when we deal with that, right, when we put the name, address, and phone number record in here and send that across everything, we get a lift in search. And here's the list of directory listings that get handled that way um, in the platform. And, you know, it's guaranteed, right? Google, not Google, I'm sorry. Uh, the tool that we use is Yaxt, and, and, and Yaxt guarantees that those directories um, will accept that information and, and that it's correct. So um, very big deal. Uh, we're using the only tool that does this. Most of these directory listing services will send in your stuff, and it's a recommendation, right? You, you ask them to change it, but they have an algorithm that may tell them that another thing is correct, and their algorithm is always going to be more accepted than user input. Um, that's not the case with Yext. Yext is the only one that will take user input as the priority. And, and what that means is that you get to control what your directory listings look like across the internet. You get to you know, determine how consistent your name, address, and phone number is going to be. And because of that capability here, um, we see that that helps, that helps in search a lot. Google will actually tell you that. Um, so you know that's a big part of of what's going on here in the cloud we, we want to make sure that that the the consistency is there um, another component of directory listings a, a kind of a big component of how how this this all works is is reputation if you have a good reputation online your website will do better right Google and and the other search engines use um, reputation as a as a way to organize that first page, right? They do care about that. They they go to great lengths to find reviews in other um, media. They 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 work really hard to aggregate that stuff and to understand what the scores are and to make sure that it's real. Um, so we we build that into the cloud. We want to know what what the scores are. You know, four point seven is really great, and we want to see you know rising scores. We want to see lots of great scores. We also want to see um, responding to reviews, right? And and this is an important component. When, we, when people ask us all the time, how many reviews? What what percentage of my reviews should I respond to? And the answer is a hundred percent, right? And but the thing is, you can't respond to them if you don't know where they are, if you don't see them. And so we bring them all in here and put them all in a place where you can respond to them right on the cloud. And and when you do that in here, it shows up on the on the review platform that it came from. So you are reaching out and actually making sure that that stuff is covered. If you uncover an issue, then you can deal with that and make sure that your reputation doesn't get, you know, doesn't continue to get hurt. Um, and, and we find that, that this is, this, this kind of tool really helps people. You know, if you, you, you can't even find most of these things if you, um, you know, if you don't have a tool like this. And, and what this does, it brings them all in and serves them up for you. All you got to do is sign in, and here they are. Um, so we work with people on um, responding to reviews like that. We get there's a there's a, a way to reach out for reviews here, right? Request a review. I can put a customer's uh, name and email address in here, and send them a review request, which will give them an ability to put something on Google right away or something on Facebook when, when they respond to that. And you can see that makes a huge difference in the numbers of reviews that people get. This client has 235 reviews with us here. And um, I can tell you that wasn't the case a year ago. So making this easy has been a very big deal. And, 
um, we 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 think that that it's a really important component of of a um, of a system of a you know digital marketing program that's going to work for you. Um, we publish about fifteen hundred blogs a month for our clients. Um, blogging is an important component of digital marketing because what we're doing is we're distributing content across a lot of different places, and we're we're growing the amount of uh, you know really words and ideas and content that's in the index, and it makes these websites bigger and more important, and ultimately shows them up more in search. Um, so when we first started this business back, you know, about eight years ago, we were sending PDFs and Word documents around to customers and and getting approvals and helping them to edit them and we had we ended up with lots of versions of these things all over the place and very difficult to manage and kind of understand what's actually happening. Um, so we created this content tab in the cloud here so that we can you know manage this editing process and kind of help help everybody to you know approve things easily. And and what happens is you get an email that says you've got content. I've got one right here. Um, and there's my one that says I, I have to look at this, right? And I come in here and I look at it. If I like it, I can simply um, approve it. Uh, I can change the date on it. I can, you know, I can actually say what date and what time it should be published. Or if I want, I can send it back to someone for approval. I can send it to another person who might want to look at it. They, they can approve it, they can publish it, it all happens right here, and you don't have any version other than the one that you're looking at. Um, so this has been really a, a big saver for us in terms of um, understanding, you know, getting the right content to, to land on a website and making it easy for customers to work with us on that basis. And you can see in this case, we've got 225 blogs here. We've been blogging for this customer for a while. Um, that really builds up and it, and it gives you a record of what's there and, and how long it's been there and how it's getting syndicated to fa Facebook and Twitter and all those other places so that we actually know what we're doing. And we can go back and look at the, at the history of this and um, you know see what's been going on for the last couple of years, whether we've been blogging in a particular you know, business and whether we want to kind of change that for a little while. And, that all of that stays right in here. It's very easy to work with, and and this publishing directly to the website. So if I want to, if I want to outside of the blogging program, we have customers who like to do their own stuff. Sometimes they want to post to social or they want to change something on the directories. Right? If you go to the directories tab, and I want to, you know, say I want to change my hours, I can do that right here. Um, once this thing settles here, I'd be able to go in and, and change the, you know, whatever, financing options, hours of operation. I can put messages in here, sale messages for certain holidays, all of that, um, right from the directory tab. Um, so sometimes what happens is when, when I get on one of these webinars, my uh, internet connection doesn't really support the bandwidth that I need to, to bring these pages down. So I think that's might be what we've got going on here. Let me uh, just give it a couple of seconds. All right, here it is. Here it is. So we're, we're back to the published content, right? And if I want to, what I was going to say is if I wanted to publish a blog, it's essentially the same thing. I can go in here and I can publish something to my website directly from the cloud. I can put the content in here. I can schedule it, right? If I go, you know, particular date and time, and then um, I can send it to somebody for approval if I want, or I can just schedule it to post anytime I want. We have customers who come in here, and they might put in five or six different articles and schedule them over time, or they might put in five or six different Facebook posts, right? Get all your work done at once, line it up, press the send button, and, and it'll happen on schedule, whatever schedule that you determine. Um, so this this kind of tool, we you know, we our idea was to make this useful so that you know you don't really have to go signing into Facebook or Twitter or the website or you know your directory listings or any of that stuff. You do it all in one place. You got one password here and it's all um, part of one process. And then I can do the same thing with social, right? If I've got five or six different social media buttons here, I can publish to all of them. 
the machine will actually adjust the size of your post based on where it's going to go. So, you know, we have 140 character limit in Twitter. Um, it will take something that's longer than that and it'll squeeze it down and edit it for you. Uh, let you take a look at it before you publish it and then um, have it fit Twitter. So all of that stuff is going on here. Um, very easy to work with. And, and, you know, our idea was that the more we make it easy, the, um, you know, the more people are going to use it. Um, and then, it, you know, we publish hundreds and hundreds of uh, AdWords campaigns. We, we work with a lot of different people. We're a Google premier partner. It's the highest level of partnership that Google has. Uh, we actually have people at Google who think about our accounts and review our accounts monthly with our um, uh, AdWords managers. And we report all of that information here. So when customers are doing pay-per-click with us, we give them the data behind all the spending and how many leads and how many phone calls. It's all right here on the campaign data tab so that, um, you know, not only do you know what's going on organically up here, but you can know what's going on in your paid campaign and you see that all in one place. So again, any adjustments that you want to make, all of that can be done in here. Um, we can report, we can output reports, right? CSV, PDFs, anything you want. So um, that's, uh, you know, organic as well as paid. And then I'll just finish with a, a, a I like to finish with a, a kind of showing the connections tab because really this is what this is about, right? It's about structured data and bringing in all the data from all the different places. So you can see AdWords and, and Webmaster Tools as well as anal, uh, Analytics, right? We bring in phone calls and directory listings, um, visibility, which is the, the, the ranking data that we talked about. And then all of the social media down below, some people have all of it connected, some people only connect certain things. Um, but websites, right? Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, um, YouTube, everything. It's all right in here. So to the extent that you want to have a lot more social, you can do that. Um, and so that that's that's the tool we have. Um, we we have hundreds and hundreds of clients that sign into it every month and 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 work with their uh, strategists, or in many cases, work on their own and do a lot of different things in here. Um, you don't have to go signing into you know, 37 different things in order to find out how things are working or, you know, to get things done. You just kind of sign into the one place and, and there it is for you. So that's the that's the, the demo of the cloud itself. I'm happy to answer any questions or show anybody anything that they'd want to see. And um, thank you very much for listening. All right, thank you, Bob. Everybody, please make sure you put all of your questions into the chat box. We will try to answer all these questions you know, within the time limit that we have, but before we get to that, I do wanna make sure that everyone knows you all have the opportunity to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our digital marketing experts. The poll's now open. You know, We're gonna be looking to schedule these calls for Tuesday and Thursday of next week, You know, or you can choose and, and have us reach out to you and call, and we can also look at other times if you'd like. Uh, on the call with our digital marketing consultants, really what we look to do is first kind of give you an overview of your digital presence and where we see that you're at. And then we'll also kind of help show where you guys could be and how the Surefire Local Marketing Cloud plays into that. And we can look and make sure that that's the right solution for your, for your digital marketing needs. But without further ado, did we want to jump into answering some of these questions? All right, perfect. So, you know, one of the first ones we had, Bob, came from Phil, and I, and I think this is back when we were on the traffic tab. He, he had a question about the direct traffic and wanted to know if that was represented as PPC. No, uh, direct traffic is traffic that where somebody typed in your URL directly, they, they didn't get referred there from somebody else. So they, they, they went into the browser. I mean, this would, this would be direct, right? If I just went in and typed in www. You know, philwebsite.com right and that that's that's direct traffic uh, ppc traffic shows up in the campaign data and it also shows up i'll show you here on uh traffic breakdown right and we this particular customer that i'm showing here doesn't have anything paid going on but normally there would be if you had a paid campaign you would see that breakout right here 
Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. And then, you know, we had another one that I thought was a good one from Vishal. You know, he's asking, what industries do we cover? You know, do we do anything in personal care like salons, supercuts, or, or European wax centers, or really anything kind of, I, I tell almost in like the, the beauty or salon industry? Um, primarily, we're into uh, we we work with companies who provide services, right, and and who live on on leads. Where you know this this platform and the and the campaigns that we produce um, are designed for lead generation. Um, so I I mean I wouldn't rule out a salon, but I, I I'd like to talk more about it before we would say yes we would you know we would do that. Um, we do we work with a lot of different. Uh, home services, businesses, windows, companies, siding, roofing, um, HVAC. We've got a, we, we bought a company uh, recently called Sequoia that is um, primarily into the HVAC business. And that's a, that's a really good fit for us. Um, and we work with a lot of franchise, a lot of multi-location companies where, um, you know, they're into their, their, their primary concern is getting more customers and lead generation. And, um, you know, multi-location as well. So we have companies on here who have over 200 locations and they want to see how each one of those locations is doing in a, in a particular gate range, for instance. It's all, you know, it's all part of this. Okay, perfect, perfect. And, and one quick note for everybody, we're going to go ahead and close the poll just uh, in case we need to see Bob's screen again. We want to make sure that's there. Uh, please keep the questions coming. Some Some of these look really good and one more, Bob, that we had is from Rebecca. You know, she wanted to know if we're going to be offering a a text or phone link for reviews, similar to what Podium is doing. Um, well, there there is like the email link that comes out of here um, is similar to that, right? You go on the platform and, and push out a review that way. Um, I, I I would guess that we would put that into uh, the the iPhone app. I don't I don't see that on the product roadmap right now, um, but I'm sure that's that's part of what we're thinking. Okay, perfect. And just looking as a few more of these are coming in. I guess you know, the only other one I'd seen out there is you know do do you want to speak to you know if someone has an existing website. Are they going to be able to plug that in, or do they need to create an entire new one with us? No, we we have a, a, a bring your own website program here, where we we take a, a website that that somebody else built and make it, you know, with very little um, adjustment, make it make it work not only in our program but make it connect to the cloud so that that kind of publishing can be done. Um, most of what we built, or almost all of what we build, is is WordPress. Um, and that's about 40% of the internet right now. Almost everything operates on WordPress. Uh, so we prefer that, but we certainly can in integrate and work with um, other platforms. So if you've got something that's not WordPress, we'd want to take a look at it. Um, but um, yeah, we, we customers bring their own website all the time and, and we're perfectly capable of handling that. Okay, perfect. Thanks for that. And this is probably a good time to mention that, you know, in April, Surefire Local is offering uh, free website construction uh, for all of our new customers. Uh, so definitely those of you that are going to be speaking with the digital marketing consultants, uh, do keep that in mind. Uh, what I'd like to do now, you know, as I had mentioned earlier, we do have a special prize up for grabs today. You know, you can win a Google Home Mini and get your first month of Surefire services for free if you're the first person to answer this question correctly. And I'm putting this question in the chat box just in case you miss it. Uh, but don't forget, you know, you're going to submit your answer using the question box in your webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen. And so without further ado for everybody, my question is, what is one feature of the cloud you could use to share a special offer across the web for storm damage repair? And I'll give you all just a few moments while we have some answers come in. All right, guys, and without further ado, today's lucky winner is going to be Jessica Plassman, you know, with the correct answer that, you know, we can use the blog article syndicated across all social media. So thank you, Jessica. Great answer and congratulations. You know, please shoot me an email uh, just at marketing at surefirelocal.com with your full mailing address and the best time to give you a call, you know, about starting up your Surefire services. 
and making sure that you get uh, that Google Home Mini. Um, but everyone here today is also going to be eligible to claim our special offer this month, which is going to be free website construction when you do sign up for Surefire Local Services. Please text us hardworking to 44222 to claim this offer. And again, that's hardworking just to 44222. And we'll definitely reach out. Uh, one of our marketing specialists will help you get that set up. And you know, I also want to just extend a huge thanks to Bob Sheehan uh, you know, and to all of you for taking time out of your day to join us. Uh, we really hope that you guys found this uh, both informative and uh, a valuable use of your time. And you know, we really look forward to seeing you on some of our future regularly scheduled webinars. You can also find more information on next week's webinar and save your seat at surefirelocal.com. Uh, but again, please take a minute to fill out our survey at the end and, and let us know how we did today and what topics you'd like to learn more about in the future. Uh, we love seeing the topics that you all suggest uh, and it really helps us plan our webinar schedules to, to be more beneficial to you. Uh, but again, thank you all so much for your time and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the day and has a good weekend. Thanks folks.